Oh yeah, this is not too bad. I mean, if I came from 2nd Avenue, you'd just make a left turn and go right on the Williamsburg Bridge. But unfortunately, uh, because I'm coming from FDR Drive, you have to make like a little bit of a loop around to get to the bridge. It's not a direct entry to the to the Williamsburg Bridge. Oh man, when these resurfaced roads, this is a this stuff is rough. I've seen whole potholes that will take even take even uh, cause a problem to a KLR. Plus, they have uh, these this gravel and stuff all over the place. So, not the safest, but I sound like an old I sound like an old man driving around. See some? I am an old, but there's a young young guy who would just come flying right through here, no problem. Until you hit some gravel, and then you'll be wiped out. Take this nice and slow. I'm turning the next corner. This you cannot break on. I'm just gonna have to take it nice and slow. Oh boy, I don't think this bus driver likes me. This is actually a big loop around to go to the Williamsburg Bridge. And that's why that's why there's so much traffic. wasn't too bad. Once you get through that, you're you're right on the bridge. get confused which side I should stay on here. Oh boy, I'm not going to stay on that side. That doesn't look good at all.
that didn't look good at all. That's why I didn't bother with that. I saw that on the side and I was like, I'm not going to go that way. That that didn't look right. I haven't been over this bridge in uh, probably two years. I never go over this bridge. Look at this. Damn. I would imagine I'm going to get off right here. Total dickhead. Just come right over. No fucking concern at all. Yeah, I'm gonna get off right here. McGinnis Boulevard. You know what? I probably could have just freaking taken the 59th Street Bridge. I just realized, I didn't realize where it was because it, it was a geek's call, so I map it on my phone. I usually just click the, the work order and go. In hindsight, man, that would have been way better to, to go the 59th Street Bridge. Because you could just take McGinnis Boulevard right from Queens, Queens right there. Instead of that nightmare I went through. Uh, that was freaking horrible. And actually, the 59th Street Bridge was before that whole stoppage on 2nd Avenue. Goes to show you, you should always take what your instinct tells you to take. Because I was, my instinct told me to take... McGinnis Boulevard from 59th Street Bridge because I, I saw where it was and I said, you know, this is pretty much a cut through from from uh, Queens, from Long Island City into Brooklyn. But I, I just said, you know what? I'll just follow the GPS. Sometimes following a GPS can be really fucked up. As in this case, if you were in a car, that would have been a complete total utter nightmare I mean you can see you were you were watching on the camera if I was in a car there'd be no saving that and it was already bad on a bike you know so you can imagine on a car it would have been it would have been end you would have had to cancel the call because there's no way you could even go Metropolitan Avenue. It's a little deep into Brooklyn. It's not technically, it's not Greenpoint. Greenpoint is uh, back there. So that's why I kind of like, when I saw Metropolitan Avenue, I said, you know, I better go down Williamsburg Bridge. But you look at where, where we are, way better. 
from 59. Yeah, it's a nice little area. Hard to get in and out of, though. The G train, though, the L train and the G train was under construction for a long time, but they were ahead of schedule. Believe it or not, ahead of schedule. Amazing. So, people living over here are back on the train, which is good. Because during that time when they were out of service on the train for upgrades, it was really bad. This area, even the rents suffered, and that was right before the pandemic. But they they rushed up to finish it. I th I think it was just because of everything that's going on, if if I'm not mistaken. Um, but it was a uh, amazing because it was a huge project, and they were ahead of schedule, which normally wouldn't be the case on a big project like that because you have a lot of unexpected things that happen. But this area really, really benefited greatly from the train being finished on time. I think it was the L train that was under construction, not the G train, but it, it affected the G train adversely because people would go, would take the, uh, they would take the G train to the L. Powers Avenue. No, we're close. At least we got good weather. Tomorrow's rain. Let me fig figure out how to get around in the rain. 284 Powers. 284, 294, 292. Alright everybody, see you in the next one.